I am Lefred, so welcome to this new video series, MySQL 101. It's MySQL for beginners. We will see during this, all these videos how to install MySQL on different platforms, how to use it, how to install the clients, MySQL Shell, MySQL Shell for Visual Studio Code, how to add data in tables, or to delete data, how to play with JSON data type, and so on. So stay tuned for extra videos, and let's start right now. For the second episode, we'll see how to install MySQL Server on Linux using a DEP platform like Ubuntu or Debian. On Ubuntu, if you use the latest, you already have uh, MySQL 8.0.31 uh, available, so from the uh, system repository. But we won't uh, use it. But if you want to use it, you just have to do sudo apt-get installed MySQL Server 8.0. I won't do it right now because I will show you how to use the community repo for MySQL in case you are using a version that doesn't have MySQL um, by default, uh, the latest version on it. So we go again on devmysql.com and we go in MySQL downloads. We use the MySQL apt repository link and we download the package. This is the for Ubuntu and Debian or any uh, DEP distro. So let's download it. This is what we are doing right now. And we open software install to install the package. So here we don't install the MySQL server, we install just the repository. I need to add my password to add this, this on the system, which is done right now. Now I will update the repository cache. So I use apt-get update and it will also retrieve the information from the mysql.com repository. Now we will search to see if we have this mysql community package available. So I use apt cache search mysql and I will do a grab on the on server. So we can see here, we have directly MySQL Server available. So MySQL Community Server this time, and not MySQL Server 8.0, like the system one. So let's have a look at it, which version it is. So I use apt cache show MySQL Community Server, so the name of the package I'm looking for. And we can see that this is version 8.0.31. So we install it using apt get installed MySQL community server and we need to do it as a sudo to be the super user. Do you want to continue? Yes, and we install now MySQL community server 8.0 uh, on this Ubuntu. So compared to the uh, RPM based here, we can't enter the password at the installation. So we need to enter what will be the root password, the, the, let's say the definitive root password. So I add it here and then you say, okay. And it will continue the installation. We use a um, strong password encryption, of course, strongest, which is the default in MySQL wait, it's better. So now the installation proceeds. And we won't have to go in the uh, error log to find what will be the temporary password because we already modified it uh, during the installation with the DEP package. When you use a, a DEP package like uh, here on Debian or Ubuntu, uh, so there are some differences. The, the first difference is that the password will be already uh, set during the installation and secondly the service will be started automatically so now it's setting up everything and it also start uh, mysql another difference it's the name so if you remember the previous video we did system ctl status mysql d but mysql d is not a found service because the name is mysql only here so this is a second difference. We can see that it already started after the installation. So now it's systemctl status MySQL, we can see it. We will now install 
a client, not the my, the MySQL old client, but a new one, MySQL shell. So we do uh, sudo apt-get install MySQL shell. Once installed, we will be able to connect to the server that is running on the machine. So we use MySQL shell, MySQL sh, in SQL mode, root at localhost, and we're going to use the password we uh, created during the installation. So this is what I'm doing right now, and I save it uh, my credential in my history. And now we can see that we are connected using the client library 8.0.31, and we are connected on our server 8.31 MySQL community. So see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.